Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. How is everyone doing? So summertime is here. I've decided to pick up some new pieces from ASOS, which I'm gonna be showing you in today's try on haul. I'm gonna dive straight in because I don't wanna take up too much of your time. The sun is shining here right now. I wanna get out and put these clothes to the test. So the first two items that I picked up are my favorite two items. It's this linen shirt and these linen trousers. So let's start with the shirt. 25 pounds from ASOS own brand absolute steal because I picked up something very similar I think it was last summer and it was around 75 80 pounds from Mango Man this was 25 and I feel like the quality of the material it feels the same however 25 75 so huge difference love the color of this nice light blue blue is my favorite color so of course I'm going to pick it up got this in a small and I would say it is true to size it's not as my usual small I would like, where it's a bit more fitted, but as we're going into summer and when you're wearing a shirt, you want it having a bit more breathable space so you're not kind of enclosed into it and feeling hot and sweaty. Moving it down to the trousers, so this navy pair of linen trousers, these are from Only and Sons, they're 30 pounds, which again, I think is a really reasonable price for a good pair of linen. They're very relaxed again. They've got the elastic waistband. I think this whole outfit together just works. The, obviously the dark navy with the light blue. Very comfortable on. I think I got these in a 28. My washing machine sounds like it's just took off to space. I'm gonna continue, but if you can hear that, I apologize. So yeah, these are a 28. They are actually a little bit big. I don't know if I'm like disintegrating and losing weight too quick. I don't know, but um, did I get them in a 28? 30, thank God for that. I was like, am I getting smaller than a 28? So these are a 30, and I would say they are true to size. They're a little bit big, um, but you can add a belt if you wanted to, or you can go down to the 28. So let's move on to the next item. This is a shirt from Pull and Bear. This was 19.99. Again, the material is perfect for summer. It's just very lightweight and thin, so. Can you hear that? Sounds like someone's breaking in or it sounds like someone's taken off to Mars. Hopefully it stops now. Um, sorry, anyway, it's got a nice print on there, some flowers, which again, very summery with all the flowers popping out right now. So yeah, I think this is not my kind of go-to shirt that I would go for because the size of it is actually quite floaty. I'm gonna use that word. It's a bit kind of big around the arms, whereas I like something a little bit more fitted to the body. But I did get this in a small. I do think it's good for summer. Maybe something more relaxed if you're just casually taking a walk or even if you want it open. Um, but for 19.99, I definitely think it's a perfect steal again um, for summer. Moving on to the next shirt, this one was, I don't remember all the prices, I'm not that good, so I'm just gonna have a look. This one was from Boohoo, it's 18 pounds, another really good price. It's a very standout shirt, so I don't know how many times you're gonna be able to get to wear this, because obviously once you wear it once, everyone's gonna recognize it the next time you wear it again. Not that that matters, but for me, I like to switch things up, especially over the small period of summer that we have. So you've got this kind of angel, um, print on the front and design and then all the colors pop in as well So I like black shirts, but I like this one that has kind of something unique to it with all the pink and the blue and the yellow Very summery bringing those colors out as well Just like the last one the material as well is very thin lightweight. So it's perfect for summer next now this one is I would say probably a little bit better for in the evening because the material can get quite, um, it's quite thick. Well, no, I'm not gonna use that word, Re rewind. The material isn't as thin as the previous two, but it's not too thick. So you could still wear it in summer, but I would probably say when the temperature drops in the evening, because in the day this material can get quite um, hot and sweaty um, in the light when it's too warm. This one was, so this is ASOS own brand, and it is, duh, 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 duh. is it this one? Yeah. So 35 pounds, so actually the most expensive one out of all of them, um, but it has got a nice check on there. I've got a lot of check shirts, really like them. People seem to love them when I'm wearing them. And I do like how you've got the two different colors coming through. It looks very Burberry vibes. So you've got a bit of kind of like burgundy, uh, yellow, and then you've got the, the silvery gray as well. So next we're moving on to this polo. Now, again, this is a little bit thicker than kind of the shirts and stuff, but I'm talking about the evenings now in summer when the temperatures do uh, drop. This is very comfortable. This is ASOS own brand again. It is 
So this is 30 pounds. I think it's really stylish. I tried this on with a pair of black cropped trousers and it really does look cool and stylish. So um, yeah, it's not something you're probably gonna be wearing in the day unless it's really cool because it is a thicker sort of knitted jumper material. Next, I don't know why I'm out of breath. I feel like, <sighs> take a breath. So next I'm moving on to this polo, completely different material. This one's very lightweight and thin. Um, this one would be more better for the day. So with a pair of shorts or something, they do say this color is camel. I didn't even know there was a camel color. I know there's a camel, but I didn't know there was a camel color. I would say mustard yellow, but this is a really kind of uplifting outfit item. So because of the colors so popping, if you were just wearing a black pair of shorts or a black pair of cropped trousers, jeans, or whatever you're wearing downstairs, this can really bring your outfit to life by bringing it like the colors popping out. So this one was, da, 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 da. so ASOS knitted muscle fit, ribbed polo t-shirt in camel as i said what the hell is camel apparently this 22 pounds so this is muscle fit it is a lot more tight fitted so i would again say not too warm with the weather wearing this because you are going to be hot and yellow sometimes does uh, show sweat right so let's move on to this graphic tee absolutely love this if you've seen most of my haul videos before you'll know that graphic tee always seems to make its way into my shopping cart um, this one is a very vintage style it's a it says acid wash so on the back you've got this sort of um, print going on and then on the front you've got the big skull um, which makes it feel kind of like old style vintage looks really really cool with a pair of denim shorts which i picked up which i'm going to show you in a minute but this was 20 pounds so if you are someone who likes vintage t-shirts go and check out asos because they do have some cool ones on there at the moment like this one got this in a small it's very um, it's not too tight again I keep saying the word relaxed but I think that that kind of style in summer is better it's not too kind of like like a muscle fit the one we just spoke about it's got a bit more breathable space so you're not getting too hot and you're not getting too sweaty um, but it's not like oversized either however now this is a random pickup for me I've never ever worn one of these in my life but wanted to give it a go and this one is oversized so we've got this Raiders I don't know if they're called jerseys, correct me if I'm wrong, but this Raiders jersey. Now I used to always wear like football t-shirt, well football shirts and t-shirts and stuff when I was a kid. And I've never really had that kind of sports looks vibe or that cool American. I think Raiders American, I'm not great with sports. So I thought why not give it a go. Again with a pair of denims, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. This can look really cool, maybe a cap. Um, now this was a lot more expensive. I think it's because the Raiders are good. I don't know, but I've heard that name of a team before. Are they basketball or baseball? That's the question I want to ask you because I, I can't remember. I think it's baseball, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this was £40, which I think it's because obviously it's like more of like a brand rather than even though it's from ASOS it's kind of like a well-known brand the Raiders like a team and then finally we have the denim shorts that I've been talking about I actually don't like shorts it's something about my legs out I don't really like unless I'm wearing uh, flip-flops and being around a pool when I'm kind of trying to style up an outfit with shorts I just never kind of see the vision of looking good so I picked up these just to give them a try because they've got this really cool again vintage feel to them um, with the kind of rips and stuff they aren't too fitted as well I do find when I get shorts I don't know if it's my leg size I don't know if I'm just choosing the wrong size but I do find when I get shorts I tend to like, they, they fit too skinny around my legs that I literally look like two drumsticks being wrapped in kind of like kitchen tinfoil or something. I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, these are a bit more relaxed. They're a bit more kind of, I'm not going to say baggy, but they have some more space in there so they're not too sucked into your legs. But I actually really like these. They're from Jack and Jones. They were, where's shorts? Apologies. Oh can't find them right so these were 35 pounds so I actually think 35 pounds is good because I am going to get my wear out of these because I actually like them whereas normal shorts just sit in a, like a box in the top of my my cupboard and only well they never really come out but these are going to come out I actually wore them yesterday 
so I'm definitely keeping them. So that's it for today's video guys. I might have blasted through that but I can look out the window and it's looking like 25 degrees today here in the UK so I really want to get out. Probably not going to wear this because it'll be too hot. Probably going to wear in trunks and then putting something like this on. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. All the links for these items will be linked down in the description box below if you wanna go and check them out or purchase them for yourself. I hope everyone is keeping well, safe, healthy, all of that jazz. Um, if you've got anything you wanna ask about the question, sizing, anything at all, pop it down in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. If you're new to my channel, if you stayed with me all the way into the end, you might as well go and click that subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you very soon on my next video. Take care.